It is Boots These boots were made for more than just walking. Well, well, well. Good morning. How's everyone doing this morning? My name is Booster Wrangle, if you're unaware, and this is Boots World. This is my world. This is where I come and indulge and experience, you know, you guys, and you guys experience me. Welcome! Welcome! Good morning, okay? Look yourself in the mirror this morning and tell yourself that you are it. You can accomplish whatever it is you want to accomplish. You can do whatever it is you want to do. You can be whoever it is you want to be, regardless of what anybody else tells you. Because nine times out of ten, they don't have perseverance. And that's what today's show is about. Perseverance. All right, so let's get into this. Perseverance, my definition of it is striving through the struggles. Okay? Perseverance to me means striving through the struggles. And we all have struggles, okay? If you are a human being on this planet, then you have some type of struggle going on, okay? Because that's why we're called here. We are called here to learn something. So it's going to be struggle and learning. It doesn't have to be. But you know, our species likes to make it a struggle. Anyways, you have to strive through the struggles. That's what perseverance means, I tell you. Strive through the struggles, okay? Okay? And some people can't do that. And I know I'm an individual who has, you know, I, I don't mean to boist myself, but I also call it promoting, so that's what I'm going to do. I have a lot going on right now, okay? And it's a miracle. It's nothing but God that I'm awake this morning and able to talk to y'all because I was exhausted last night. I have to keep up with school. I have a rave coming up March 25th where I put on a seven-show concert, and I'm going to do it, okay? This is at Green Street, March 25th, so you best be at that rave, honey. We're going to have the fog so thick. Ooh, the fog is going to be so thick, it's going to be like the haze of my smokeouts. Huh, I said it, because you know I smoke weed. <coughs> oh, good morning. Good morning. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I have to persevere through this weather. Because if you are located in the city of Greensboro, or if you're located in the Triad area, which I assume that you are, or some people who like to listen to me from, all the way from New Orleans and California, hey, y'all. But down here, the weather changed so fast. I mean, it's like my nose was used to breathing that cold, dry air, and now all of a sudden, the next morning, it's hot and humid, and I'm sitting up here, you hear that? That's just nasty. It's nasty. So I have to persevere through this nasty, moist, humid weather that just happens to wake up when it wants to. But today's show, like I just got done mentioning, if you're just now tuning in, it's 9.05 after your hour. It's about perseverance. And perseverance is striving through the struggles. We all have struggles. But those of us who have perseverance can learn from those struggles and keep it moving until the next lesson. That's what we are here to do. That's what today's show is about. Now, sometimes you have to persevere severe you threw anxiety because I got anxious about popping somebody in the face the other day and I was so anxious about popping them in the face that you know I almost lost on that note let me take you into Nars Barkley crazy because half of y'all think I'm crazy half of y'all get me and you know most of y'all understand me around here but it's the world I'm worried about that's why I'm going on X Factor <laughs> Hey y'all, good morning. Like I said, I'm high as hell. Well, I didn't say that, but I'm gonna have to persevere this show, you know, high as hell. Now, I don't know who had this camera before I did, but they got the brightness all fucked up. And I noticed this, okay? So what I'm gonna have to do is figure out how to relight this arena to make it look, you know, more aesthetically appealing like I do. Does that make me crazy? 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 Possibly, believe, believe. Woo! Welcome to Boost World. <laughs> hey. Okay, okay. Today's show is about perseverance, and earlier in the hour, I mentioned that perseverance to me is striving through the struggles, okay? And we all have struggles, and you know, I began to tell you about everything that I'm persevering through, okay? And some of these things, you know, you want to say, 
I don't want to say there are struggles, though. They're just things that I have to do to get where I want to go. So maybe I will redefine perseverance here in a little bit. However, you know, I have a glow party coming up at Green Street, March 25th, that I'm rapidly preparing for. I got a body painter in there. We're going to have heavy fog to where you can't see two feet in front of your face. Glow sticks. We're going to have... Um, a dance competition and a Vogue competition. We're going to do a lot at Green Street on Sunday. So make sure you're there. I'm hosting and you can get these glow in the dark drinks. They're going to be new. People walking around glowing in the dark and stuff. It's going to really feel like a fantasy world. So that's kind of going to be what Boots World really looks like. You know. Anyways, but you're listening to Boots World right now, and I thank you for that. And I thank everybody that's on Twitter for um, shouting me out and keeping me posted on your listening. By the way, I found the video of me mushing the pasta. Okay, and I'm going to post that up soon. And if you're not on my YouTube page, I suggest you go to www.youtube.com backslash B-O-O-T-Z-D-U-R-N-G-O and look up all my videos, especially if you want to repeat this show. Now, perseverance. You have to persevere through everything that is holding you back from doing what you want to do. And my main thing I'm persevering through right now is anxiety and impatience. And I'm impatient, therefore I'm anxious about where I want to go. And I have to persevere through that mentality. And I know that's a personal thing that I'm working on. I mean, we we all have to persevere through th- through something. I remember back in high school before I came out of the closet, if you're unaware, I am a cross-dressing he-she. At least with that pastor called me before I mushed him in his face. Video coming soon because I found it. Now, um, I had to persevere through a lot. I had to persevere through ridicule and things of that nature, but it wasn't because I was gay. It was because I wasn't admitting to everybody else or myself that I was gay. So once I came out of the closet and stuff like that and persevered through my own fear of being afraid of what everybody else said about me, then, you know, I I, I, I showed perseverance and I, I accomplished my goal and I became who you see today. Just bad. You know what I'm saying? So you have to persevere through the things that, you know, feel as if they're holding you back. You have to persevere through the things that, you know, people try to tell you you can't do something. Or, you know, sometimes your parents say you can't do something. And I'm an testament to that. I'm still young. I'm only 21 years old. So I'm in it with y'all. I know what the, I know what the T is. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you have to take a little bit more time and persevere through your parents not understanding you or what you're going after. But, you know, there is a way through perseverance that lessons can be learned on both parties. You know, I learned to communicate with my parents better, and she learned to receive me in a better light. So, at this point in time, there's nothing but love between us, and we persevered through those times when I had anger problems, or those times when, you know, you know, she just couldn't get over the fact that I was gay, but can you blame her, though? Can you blame her? And I'm saying that now, because, you know, you have to put yourself in her shoes. She was raised during the time where homosexuality was slept on. Granted, I live now, and I am going to be one of the influential people to make it more and more acceptable in today's society, as I rub my stomach that's flatter than Bo Bice's chest. You know what I'm talking about. But you have to persevere through some things, people. I mean, this is the world. This is life. This is what life is not necessarily about, but it shows who's meant for it and who don't tap out, who, who's who's really cherishing and trying to learn something this lifetime. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not sitting up here trying to tell you that perseverance is the, the one of the main mechanisms to live your life because, you know, some of y'all use um, contraband to do that. <laughs> I know I spark me a good one every once in a while. And if you like sparking a good one and you want to tell me about how you persevered through some things, make sure you hit me up on the, on the phone, okay? I can't get you on air, but you will be on the video. And that's 336-334-5450. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You have to persevere through these times. Because there is victory at the end of the finish line. Oh, woo! All right. As a student, you have to persevere through academia, okay? As a student, you have to persevere through the academia world, all right? And academia, let me tell you about me in academia. I have not appreciated school like I should have, okay? And I'll be honest with you in saying that, that, you know, back in the, I'll say, I don't know when it started. It had to have been high school, you know? I just stopped taking a, a primary interest in academia and I started really focusing on like my music and being, you know, something else. 
rather than a student. And I have I had to persevere through not necessarily that mentality, but I had to persevere through actually recognizing that it is important to be a student. All right, and but but it's hard. Like, and I'm gonna say that why not because I'm dumb or stupid or you know don't like to learn or something like that. No, it's because my focus is lied elsewhere. I love to entertain. That's my passion. That's my goal. That's my dream. That's what's going to make my reality and my prosperity more imminent in my reality. Now, with th with that being said, I have to persevere through school because school is necessary. You know, and it's always great to have a backup plan if you you know. So with that being said, it's not a necessary in this economy a surefire way to guarantee you an occupation but it could open a lot of doors and it's about who you know and you know it's a lot of people you can know in college and you never know where they're going and I'm not saying that to tag along with somebody I'm just saying that to say it's, it's about who you know you know somebody in the broadcasting field here at UNCG 10 years from now they're going to be doing something in the broadcasting arena you know no matter how long it takes them because they're going to persevere you see how perseverance is everywhere that's why, that's why I did this show. That's why I'm doing this show on this. Okay? But you have to persevere through academia. You have to persevere. And you have to actually take time and care about what you're doing. Okay? And that's a mentality that came a little bit later in my life. <laughs> actually here recently. And like I said, I'm still young. I'm only 21 years old. But, you know, you have to persevere through the academia. And I know sometimes, child, school just don't make no sense. Like last night, I had this dang on astronomy homework. And I was supposed to have a study session with my girl Kamora in Philly to, you know, fill out the paper work and do the homework together. Not necessarily leaning on them or anything like that, but when we put our three heads together, we come up with B's on exams. At least I can make a B on that exam, you know. Anyways, with that being said, it's just like you have to press the video. You have to sometimes you gotta man up and pull yourself up by your britches and you have to say, look, I'm gonna make a good grade on this day going homework with y'all, without y'all, you know what I'm saying? And so I did. I made an 86. I felt good about that, but I had to press a beer through some stellar equations and piss that I really didn't know the answer to. That's why I called Kamora. But it Anyway, I still persevered and got that 86. You see how you have to persevere through stuff? And then you get your reward at the end. Are you listening to me? If you are, if you're not, it don't matter because I'm going to persevere to you listening or not listening, you buzzards. You ignorant buzzards. Whew. Whew. Now, I have to give a special shout out to my girl, Pahua. Girl, we still here, girl. Okay? Girl, I saw her this morning, and I was walking, and um, she had such a cute little friend with her. I don't know her name, but she was so adorable, and I just have to say hey to Pahua. Now, let's get back to the topic of conversation, which is what? Perseverance. Which is what? Perseverance. Okay. You have to be able to be confident while you are persevering through something. You may understand what's going on. You may not understand what's going on. But at the end of the day, you have to be confident and act like you know what's going on in order per to persevere through something. Okay? So what that causes you to do is to be self-reflexive. You have to go on the inside of you and figure out what's really going on with you. Are you growing? How are you growing? And what are you getting yourself into while you are persevering through whatever it is you're persevering through? Whether it's ridicule or whatever. See, back in the day at Hopewell High School, I used to get ridiculed, okay? And I'm not going to sit up here and say I was bullied because it was none of that going on because I wouldn't allow that to go on. I mean, everybody pretty much respected me. It was just like they would call me F-A-G-G-O-T. They would call me that. They would call me, you know, different names because I wasn't comfortable with who I was as a person. So once I went inside of me and I figured out, well, I'm persevering through this confidently, like, you know, I'm talking back to him and I'm saying what I got to say. But on the inside of me, I was like, well, what's really going on with myself? You know what I'm saying? So once I realized who I was and I started to adorn myself the way that I adore myself today and I started being comfortable with who I was as a person, you know, I understood why I had to persevere through that. Does that make sense? I know it might be a little complicated, but the perseverance was in dealing with their ridicule so I could learn about myself. I'm eternally grateful for that. The same thing with my mom. My mom, we persevered through our relationship. I was lashing out. I was being rebellious. I was getting in fights. I was, you know, cussing out the teacher, winding up in the ISS. I was a problem, child. Like I told you, I have to persevere through academia because, you know, my focus really wasn't there. So I, I tried to entertain myself and I entertained everybody else as well. So, I have to, you have to persevere through these times and these issues and you have to go within yourself and figure out, well, why is it that I have to persevere through this? It's a reason. You know, it's a reason that I'm still here at UNCG. Amen. Ho, 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 ho. He kind of, whoa, 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 whoa. Whew. Whew. It almost got hot up in here. Church. 
You understand what I'm trying to tell you? You have to persevere through these things, okay? And I'm persevering through my grades right now. I'm also going on X Factor. And that's going to require a lot, a lot of perseverance. I know for a fact I'm going to Hollywood. I know for a fact I'm going. I haven't even auditioned yet, but I am claiming that for myself. And make sure you guys, you know, support me, you know, and just let me know that you, you have, you know, I have your support and I have your love because I'm going to need as much love as I can get when I go up there. I'm going to be the only cross-dressed he, she, you know, and that's what that pastor called, he told, that pastor told me that and I had to persevere my, 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 my open palm in his face. Had to mush him, you know. But in order to persevere, I am going to need a support system. So if you support me and if you've been listening to Boots World and you you absolutely, you know, co-sign this cross-dressing he, she, <laughs> then make sure you let me know. Everything is at Boots Durango. Boots with a Z, D-U-R-E-N-G-O at the end of it. And I, first of all, I want to thank each and every one of you who have been rocking with me thus far. This is my third year doing radio and, you know, it's my about fourth year or third year doing YouTube videos as well. And I've maintained a lot of status from that. And, and I want to say thank you because I want to inspire people as a whole. And that's what I'm persevering to do. That's my dream. That's what's going to make the difference in today's world. And I just want to say that I, you know, I, I got to smoke. <laughs> song right there, something about it. I know that Celia. I miss Celia so much, you know, and a lot of people had to persevere through her death as well as a lot of people had to persevere through the death of Whitney Houston. Now, let me indulge in this right quick. Hold on, let me check my Facebook for a second. Okay, I'm going in on the death of Whitney Houston and what that means to me, because I finally figured it out. So, what it is is... When Whitney Houston died, let me tell you, I wasn't a huge fan of Whitney Houston, and I'm still not a huge fan of her music. I'm getting more in. I'm a bigger fan now when she's actually deceased than I would have been when she was alive, and I say that for this reason right here. You know, I really wasn't into her. I knew who she was. I knew she was a legend in my eyes, and I knew that my Aunt Vicky loved to listen to her. I remember listening to her in the car when I was little, and uh, Aunt Vicky used to be going, oh, it's not right, but it's okay. I'm gonna make it in yeah, and the car and stuff like that. Talking about the Heartbreak Hotel and all that. Now, what it was is when Whitney Houston died, they kept playing that song, I Will Always Love You, over and over again. And so, in the midst of, you know, her death and everything, I'm sitting up here having to persevere through my own emotions. Because I'm like, why am I feeling so connected to Whitney Houston? Now, I had a dream about Whitney Houston where she uh, prevented this lady from leaking a sex tape of me. Now, I don't have a sex tape, okay? There is no sex tape, just to keep that in mind. But the dream went like this. And I think I mentioned it in a previous episode of Boots World. So, if you haven't looked up my previous stuff, I suggest you do that. That's YouTube.com backslash Boots Durango. Now, the dream was this, this lady, this older lady, was going to leak a sex tape with me. And Whitney Houston stopped her and she gave me the sex tape and said, uh, uh, don't fret, baby. I always got your back. She said, uh, yeah, don't fret. Oh, wait a minute. What did she say? She said, um, 
Don't sweat it, baby. She said something because I tweeted it. I'll look it up and I'll get back with you. But she said, I always got your back. And come to find out, she said the same thing to Barbara Christina because I saw the interview on Oprah. You know, so it's really inspirational. And now what Whitney Houston means to me, I'll go into that, is, you know, they kept playing that song, I Will Always Love You. And I will always love you. Now, when I listen to that song, what that means to me is, if you don't, if, if you don't know, I was adopted, and I envisioned my birth mother. That's the feeling or the, 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 the thing she would say as she was leaving me on the stoop of that adoption agency. That's how I feel. So, Whitney Houston was the messenger in which I could get that feeling. So, I had to persevere through what I didn't know was, you know, what, quite what I was feeling towards Whitney Houston. I know I loved her. I I know she smoked marijuana. We and I supported that. I, I didn't support the other drugs she was on though. But I loved her for what she was, and which was a wonderful person. You know, from what I saw, being a uh, consumer. You know, being one that was blocked by that fourth wall. That fourth wall is the dimension where they're higher. You know, you you see them in the public eye, but you can't. I don't really touch her. I didn't really know her, but I felt close to her. That's what that means. But I had to persevere through. What, what was I going through? What was I feeling towards Whitney Houston? I don't know this woman. Why am I feeling so you know close to her at this moment? And it was that I will always love you. I feel like that was the exact feeling. She captured that exact feeling that my, my birth mother would have said when she gave me up. Or at least I would like to think that. You know, it's about to be 10 o'clock, so let me take you back into a liner real quick. And I'm going to get the music to keep bumping and bumping and bumping and grinding. You know how we do this. Oh, two after your hour, and you are currently listening to Boots World, and today's show is on perseverance. And what I've done is I've, you know, elaborated on some personal experiences about perseverance, and I want to hear from you guys now. So if you will, be so kind as to call 336-334-5450 if you have something to say about perseverance. And, you know, perseverance is necessary because we all have, you know, struggles or goals we're trying to accomplish, and you have to be strong in the midst of being impatient. Now, that's my problem. I have to be strong in the midst of being impatient, you know, and I get really anxious and I just have to fight for what I want and strive to get what you got. Woo! Woo! Fight for what you want and strive to get what you got. That's, you know, that's what perseverance is in my eyes. I want to hear from you guys, though. So hit me up on that tweet, tweet, that at B-O-O-T-Z-D-U-R-E-N-G-O or the YouTube or the Facebook or anything. Just hit me up and let me know what you feel about perseverance. You know, I think it's mandatory. I think, you know, me, especially me dressed the way that I dress, you have to have perseverance even walking out the house in the morning, honey. Because all these looks and stares sometimes just get on my nerve. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I have a mission here. And I'm here to inspire and that's what I'm going to do. If you see me looking crazy, then the next person you see looking crazy is going to be all right. Now, who is this texting me? Let me persevere through these text messages real quick so I can give y'all some inspiration. But we are we are having a soulful morning. You know, if you've been rocking with me since 9 o'clock in the morning, it's, it, I felt like the soul was up in here. And I feel like it's still up in here. So rock with me. Continue to rock with me. And, you know, I got to give a special shout out to um, Triad Greensboro, who got me for an interview. And I have to thank Joe Scott. Joe, thank you so much for, for supporting me. You know, I might not say that a lot to you, but, you know, you've been getting me this press and all these things going on. And I just got to say thank you. So be on the lookout for my article in Triad Greensboro. That's Greensboro, Burlington High Point, and Winston's newspaper. And, you know, they, they sell them. And I just want you to understand that I'm in there. Pause this. I'm in there. 
Okay? And I'll let you know when that is. Make sure you check out Green Street this Sunday. I have a rave that I'm throwing. I got inspired by my girl Quay from the west side of Charlotte. And she threw a, wave at, a rave at her house. And I, I absolutely got inspired to, you know, do a rave of my own. And I hope she doesn't mind me doing that. But I will invite you and get you free drinks, honey. But I, I'm telling you, this rave is about to be crazy. I'm performing with a Luigi hat on. You know, Super Mario got his hat. But I got my hat because Luigi's hat is green. Okay? And we're going to be at Green Street. And I smoke what? Okay. <laughs> All right. Perseverance. Today's topic is perseverance. And you know, you have to have confidence when you are persevering through something. I probably said this earlier in the hour, but it's definitely true. You have got to have confidence in order to, you know, persevere through something. Or you could persevere with your head low, but I mean, I guarantee you're going to be persevering longer than you expect to do so. Okay? Because, you know, with confidence, it boosts your drive to figure out what the piss is going on, okay? And a lot of the times, like I said earlier in the hour, if you're just now tuning in, it's 10, 11 after your hour, I said, you know, perseverance, you have to be able to self-reflect in order to persevere. You have to ask yourself, you have to ask the universe, why am I going through whatever it is I'm going through and why is it that I have to continue to strive through this? Why is it that I persevere? And then once you have adhered to that and you learn, you know, why it is you're persevering, what's the lesson that you've learned, you can cherish that struggle that much more or that that push and pull that much more of what perseverance is you know i have to persevere through uh, a lot you know i want to be a performing artist i've been ever forth so going in that direction in my life and i've been taking it by the bullhorns and riding that toro like i ain't got nobody since you understand what i'm trying to tell you so with that being said i'm a student on top of that as well as i dress like a cross dress and he she like that pastor told me who i mushed and shouts out to tiara because i'm texting her now and she has the footage from when i did that so i can finally upload that footage on my youtube page which is b-double-o-t-z-d-u-r-n-g-o and i mushed him because he was being a little too belligerent for my taste okay you don't get out of character with me, okay, and I, I've tried to persevere through your uh, ridicules, I try to persevere through your insults, and I just won't cut it, cut it no more. These people stand outside at UNCG and run their mouth about each and every individual that walks past them, talking about uh, sorority girls are whores, talking about fraternity boys are sluts and calling me a cross-dressing he she. Well, this cross-dressing he she couldn't take it no more, you know, and I persevered as long as I could through all those insults and tried to hold my peace like Medea says and let the Lord fight my battles. However, I don't know where the Lord was that day because he sure wasn't coming out of that man and I had to mush him and take matters into my own hands. And I have that video coming to you soon, but you have to persevere through stuff, people. And you have to persevere confidently through it. Now, what I did do before I laid hands on him was I checked to see if the police was around. See, if you persevere, you have to make sure that, you know, if, you, if you're gonna if you're gonna break your perseverance, you have to make sure that you have the authority oh, to do so. Okay? 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 All right. Now, if you want to call me and tell me about perseverance, make sure you dial 336-334-5450. I haven't had nobody call yet, but I'm going to persevere through this nobody calling, and I'm going to expect somebody to call in the next 45 minutes before I get off this air. Okay? Because I got to smoke. You heard me right, people. I have got to smoke. And a picture with a pen.
Okay, what I just got done explaining to the people, I'm sorry, I forgot to hit record on this. You can't blame me because I'm a little twisted. Now, I said that longing to miss somebody, that's something that we all have to persevere through. And I, I elaborated and said I missed one of my best friends in the world. His name is Casey Dash, and he's over there in London studying the man's and chesters, studying Manchester's and her. Yeah, I'm saying studying the broads, you know, he's over there studying abroad. And um, I miss him dearly. And I realized I missed him when he gave me a compliment on one of my latest videos, which was a cover to Whitney Houston. If you want to see that, you know, it's down there somewhere. Look down there somewhere. Right. Um, and I realized that I have to persevere through this. And, you know, in perseverance, you have to self-reflect. So I have to persevere through this longing to miss him because it's going to make our connection that much stronger and that much more fruition when he comes back, you know. And, um, yeah, that, that's what I just elaborated to. I'm sorry you missed that, but, you know, I'll catch you up the next time. You feel me? Do you feel me? <laughs> Music. Music is a very powerful thing that can be used to aid you in persevering through whatever it is that you're persevering through, especially when an artist captures what you want to feel at that moment in time, especially when you persevere through something that's a bit difficult for some people to accept or people, you know, persevere through things that some people just don't understand and people persevere through things that force them to work that much harder because of just because of who they are. And, you know, it's times like this when I need to reference one of my favorite songs in the whole world. And if you're a fan of Boots World, you already know that nothing even matters at all. Let me try that again. If you're a fan of Boots World, and try it in my sexy voice again, I'm gonna get home. <coughs> if you're a fan of Boots World, then you already know that uh, nothing even matters at all. <laughs> Exactly what we need right now. We need some Lady Sovereign to up in the mood a little bit because nothing may even matter at all. But we are persevering through the summer, the winter, the springtime, and the fall. Hello, my name is Brandon, and I'm here covering for boots right now in my Jeep sexy voice. I hope each and every one of you are persevering through your daily routines this morning and telling everybody that you feel great, you feel relaxed, you feel confident, you feel comfortable with persevering through whatever it is you have to persevere through. And you know, you have to make sure that while you're listening to this Lady Sovereign, that you call into, you know, this show and speak to either myself, I'm Brandon, or Boots Durango, he's over there rolling up. Now, um, dial 336-334-5450, and we can talk about what you are persevering through. And, you know, shouts out to my people that are on Boots' Twitter, as well as his Facebook. And we just want to, you know, help you have a magnificent, perseverance-filled day. <laughs> Okay, everybody, today's show was on perseverance, okay? And it, the show's not over yet. I still got to come back to you one more time after I speak on this. But this is the last thing I'm going to say about perseverance, okay? I'm going to recap everything. You have to have perseverance. And what perseverance is, initially I said it was striving through the struggle. Whatever struggle you're going through, it's about pushing through that struggle so you can get the benefit or the lesson that you were supposed to learn at the end of that that tunnel. Now, perseverance also could be through impatience, through things that you want to do, but are not given to you specifically when you want them. So, you have to persevere through those situations as well. You have to have confidence with perseverance because if you don't have confidence with it, you're going to be persevering longer than what you should be persevering through. You have perseverance in missing somebody because, you know, but if you persevere through that longing of missing them, it could actually strengthen your relationship and help you to grow closer, which is being exhibited right now with my boo Casey who's all the way in London studying man's chest and studying the broads. Now, with that being said, I also have to tell you that, you know, 
there's a glove party at Green Tree. I keep bringing this up, but I'm sorry. This rave is going to be excellent. I'm persevering through it and trying to make sure I can get it, you know, get it in and, you know, make sure everybody has a good time with the rave and ex actually has a good time watching me perform. I've been persevering through creating music and things like that, and I'm going to be able to debut some things on Sunday. So I hope you come out to Green Street to see me, as well as, you know, just I'm going to be persevering on X Factor, and I've stayed persevering on my YouTube videos, as well as, you know, reaping every benefit that I have. And I just want to say thank you, and thank you for persevering with me and supporting me and being there for me. I have an interview coming out with Triad Greensboro. That's Greensboro and the Triad's local newspaper about this radio show, as well as, you know, my future endeavors and what I plan on doing and becoming in life and time and space. But without perseverance, I wouldn't be who I am today. So make sure you persevere through the ridicule, through the hard times, through the good times. Back in high school, I mentioned I was, you know, ridiculed and things like that, but I persevered through that and it made me who I am today. The cross-dressing he, she, who persevered through the preacher running his mouth about me at UNCG and I, I you know, I lost my perseverance right there. I had to mush him. Video coming soon. I found a girl who got it for me. So I'll be back with you with my final thoughts in a little bit and I hope you enjoyed this little bit of CeeLo Green I'm about to play for you with that go-go gadget gospel and that go-go gadget gospel. Yeah. Here. Here are my final thoughts. I just want to say that whatever you want to do, you can do it, okay? Just make sure you have confidence, perseverance, and you self-reflect on what you are persevering through. My name is Boots Durango, and I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in to Boots World today. If you want to catch up on this episode, it's going to be out next week on Friday. I have episode 7 coming out to um Friday, this Friday. This Friday, episode 7 is coming out, and that's about style, okay? And this show is on perseverance. So I just want to thank you for staying in touch with me. Make sure you look me up. Google it. B-O-O-T-Z, D-U-R-A-N-G-O, and everything you want is right there. BoostDurango.com coming next week. BoostDurango t-shirts coming this week. Uh, it's just so many things going on, but I ultimately just want to say, you know, if it wasn't for y'all people who support me, I wouldn't be doing this. Seriously, though. And, you know, thank you for the inspiration and helping me to persevere through the hard times. And I'm here. I'm here to stay. I'm not going nowhere. So get used to it and open the oh, 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 open the gates. I already cussed once today. I ain't going to try to cuss again. <laughs> Have a good one, y'all. Peace. It is Boots World. These boots were made for more than just walking. <laughs>